Although the Department of Justice has already closed down its investigation into former IRS official Lois Lerner's alleged role in targeting conservative organizations last year, uh, conservative organizations, Tea Party organizations, they closed that down. The House GOP are now targeting the current IRS chief. So they have begun impeachment proceedings for John Kosinskin. Kosinskin? That's always a hard one for me. Yeah. Kosinskin on Tuesday, this, uh, yesterday. Uh, John, I believe it's Kazakhstan. <laughs> it's Kaz yes, John Kazakhstan. Uh, he is now going to possibly be impeached. Uh, they accuse him of making false statements under oath and failing to comply with a subpoena. Uh, House Oversight Committee Chair Jason Chaffetz, who uh, might have a political reason for doing this at this current time, and 18 other members of the committee uh, signed on to the resolution. Oh, they got Jody Heiss. Interesting. Uh, so they've turned from Hillary and Benghazi. I understand it's not the exact same number of uh, people in that. Uh, investigation is ongoing and now I feel like it's Groundhog's Day. We're talking again about this fake scandal over the IRS unfairly targeting conservative organizations when the actual investigation into what happened showed that they were actually being more stringent in terms of uh, they're looking at liberal organizations. But no, they're going to be looking into him. Facts be damned. Facts um, be damned. So uh, we've been over this a million times. The whole thing was a farce to begin with, uh, but it had a purpose. and. This is the purpose. Yes. And so, and we've been telling you that from day one, and here again, we're being proven right. So, the whole point is to beat the IRS down. Why? Why do the Republicans want to do that? Because they represent the rich. They're all their donors who got them elected, right? And, and if you have more money, you win 95% of the time in the US Congress. So, donors are directly responsible for getting all these scumbag politicians elected, okay? So what do they do? They work for their boss. Their boss is the donors. So donors are very rich. They hate the IRS. Yeah. They don't want to pay taxes. Some of them want to cheat on their taxes. Some of them don't want to cheat but hide their money abroad. Oh, technically legal. I did a double dutch and an Irish sandwich and then I put it in Cayman Islands. These are real maneuvers, by the way. <laughs> Although I think it's a Dutch sandwich and a double Irish, but I'm not positive. Yeah. Okay, so these are legal loopholes. They do do that. That's point number two. And point number three is the less enforcement the IRS can do, the more you can cheat around the edges. Oh, hey, you know what? Uh, does my Learjet count as a business expense? Well, of course it does, doesn't yeah. it? Even when I'm going to Hawaii on vacation with my kids, right? It mm. counts as, a, you know, it, look, and it goes on and on and on. The less IRS has resources, the less it can audit them, the more of their own, they what they consider their own money to keep, right? Now, but the reality is the government takes a certain percentage of all of our income for a reason. It does that so that it could fund schools, bridges, etc. So we all can have opportunities. So the poor, the, the old don't die in the streets, etc. And by the way, we paid into that. We paid into Social exactly, Security yeah. and Medicare. And and so and in order to make up for the lost taxes that you have from the rich not paying their taxes, they then fine people more for parking tickets, moving violations, yeah. etc. They put all the taxes on us. So this is income redistribution. That's what the Republicans want to do. And part of how they do it is, and this is the most effective thing in Washington is, you execute someone's career. And what that does is for all the career bureaucrats in Washington, it sends a message. Don't mess with the Republicans, don't mess with the rich, otherwise you'll lose your job and you won't be able to feed your kids. So even if they can't get uh, John Koskinen, right? Mm -hmm. They're sending a message here, we're coming for you guys. Don't you dare cross us. Yeah. Do not audit the rich. Don't do your job. We're going to cut your budget mm -hmm. and we're going to fire your chief. Yeah. And it doesn't matter. We'll make up things. Can you it doesn't get any more made up than this scandal. They targeted conservatives and liberal organizations and liberal organizations. Yeah. And they went after liberal organizations more than they went after conservatives. Who cares? A we made it up. We big made it up. Screen. Because the message they're trying to send isn't don't do the wrong thing, otherwise we'll come to get you. Mm. The message they're sending don't is do the right don't do the right thing. Yeah. If you try to do your job, we'll make sure that you don't have it anymore. Yeah, yeah and, and it puts the message out there that, uh, okay, so you, you're a regular person and you're watching these ads and, and you're hearing all this stuff about how the rich should be, they should have to pay more in taxes. And then you think, oh wait, doesn't, isn't the IRS like totally corrupt? And it makes you question whether that sort of strategy is necessary, is moral. It makes people question the tax base of this country, uh, which is awful. And we, yeah, we were just talking about the, the the fees have to replace the taxes. And isn't it amazing that it's even legal? Like we we understand if I go to jail for a week, and if a really rich person goes to jail for a week, it sucks for both of us. Maybe not equally, but it sucks. 
But if I have to pay a hundred dollar fine and he has to pay has to pay a hundred dollar fine, he doesn't even notice it. Where it's where it's really bad for me. How is that legal? That the mm -hmm. fine that, that that the 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 justice is so uh, unequal in that respect. But anyway. Um, so they get to uh, both hurt the IRS, and they don't even have to kill it. All they have to do is defund it a little bit, take away some of the agents that's already underfunded and can't do the investigations it needs to do, and that, that allows them to use these tricky uh maneuvers named after countries, knowing that the chances of them being caught are much lower. And at the same time, they make people question taxation as a strategy, as something that the government should even be getting up to. Um, now, I think that that is probably why they're doing this. Now some people on the right don't think that it's a good use of their time and they actually believe that because of the recent experience with the Benghazi investigations. In this clip you're going to see Charles Krauthammer making that point. Look, this is not going to end well. Republicans have demonstrated, if they have demonstrated anything, Republicans in the Congress have shown that they have no ability to conduct successful investigations of this administration. Everything they have touched has failed or backfired. Even Benghazi, where they had prima facie evidence of new data showing that Hillary Clinton had said to the Egyptian ambassador a day after the incident that had nothing to do with the video, and then spent the next week or two telling that to the country and to the father of one of those who fell. The most damning evidence I can imagine it is something you would have started a hearing with that would have had tremendous impact. And they didn't succeed. They ended up with the images, the way it's been received, as she had a triumph. If you can't score on that, you're not going to score on this. So why why even bother them? So understand what Kratenhammer is saying. He's not saying he's on Fox News. He's mm. deeply conservative. He's a neocon through and through. He's not saying don't do the investigation because it's not the right thing to yes. do. Don't try to get that guy fired. He didn't do anything wrong. Don't try to impeach him. That's preposterous, right? Yeah. No, he's saying. You're just not good at the hatchet jobs. Yeah. Like I would prefer you to be much better at the hatchet jobs. Here's how you should have done the Benghazi hatchet job better. And in this case, you're going to bungle it again. Mm -hmm. He said, "You're not going to be able to score on this." Yeah. Right. His problem isn't <laughs> the game. His problem is that you're not playing that game well enough and not scoring enough yeah. in favor of the rich. So, and and the guy who's spearheading this. Look, all the Republicans who are on this side are guilty of this. And uh, but Jason Chaffetz, he has this libertarian cloak, like oh my, I'm principled and I'm deeply conservative slash libertarian, right? And sometimes on some uh, civil liberties issues, he delivers, and you go, hey, ooh, okay, look at that, he was actually principled for half a second, and then he'll <laughs> come back and do this, right? He knows what the game plan is, yep. and he knows his whole job is to be a boy for the <laughs> Republican donors, and he. And this guy's a deeply political guy. So mm -hmm. even he used to work for John Huntsman in Utah, who ran for president last time around on the Republican side. And Huntsman's like, watch out for Chaffetz. Mm. And he said, oh man, that guy, was, basically he was implying he'll stab you in the back the minute he gets a chance, yeah. which apparently Huntsman feels like Chaffetz did to him. Yeah. So this guy knows the score. Yeah. So he's out here going, oh yeah, 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 Republican donors, you'll love what I got for you. I'm going to try to murder the IRS for yeah. you, right? And it, that's what's the, uh, happening.